hello my friends and welcome back thank you very much for being with me again today i will uh, cover the idiotic statement of the french president emmanuel macron uh, which uh, i think is not based on uh, the delusion or you know ideology i think he knows exactly what's going on and he knows exactly what the reasons are for what's going on over there but he just uh, won't name the reality because it's against his uh, sponsor's um, push. So why do I, I have to be careful what I say because these guys already had a problem with one uh, of my videos that I just tried to post this morning. So I posted it on Rumble instead because uh, YouTube had a lot of questions about it. So here we have Macron. I'm going to go to this one. Say, blaming computer games for riots. The French president said that young people have been, quote-unquote, intoxicated by virtual violence. Well, uh, you see, um, it's not really uh, young people. It's some young people and some people were intoxicated. So that's one of many, many reasons why those... Uh, riots occur in France, but he's not going to name uh, them. He's going to name whatever. He's going to focus on this one. And uh, there's not the computer games. A lot of people play computer games. Uh, it's the, the um, ability of a person to stop the thought into uh, becoming action. We have a lot of thoughts, good thoughts, bad thoughts, if we don't put them in practice because we are capable of stopping. Now, if we are incapable or unwilling, then we act upon our thoughts. And uh, those people that have, you know, played video games, you know, they had, they had uh, to make a decision. Will I act violently or I will not act violently? It's not a computer game who tells him blah, 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 and he just does it. He had a choice, that person. Will I act or will I not act? And you think of cost, benefit, law, uh, education, family, values, school, mass media, politicians. All these things together play a role in how a person will act in society. Well, you can't just take the violence all from the video games, which yes, might play a role and I think not might it plays a role in people's you know mental view of the world you know how they see things how they envision certain things but from there to acting you're an adult you should be able to control your impulses if we, you are not able then you should be punished by law if obviously uh, your actions are illegal like for instance we have a lot of thoughts when we walk down the street we don't put that in practice because that could be called rape that could be called this and that uh you know a lot of things could uh could uh could how should i put it end up in uh in, in a negative behavior the, my point is we have a lot of thoughts sometimes negative thoughts you can have those don't put them in practice if you put them in practice that's the whole thing stop it so it's just uh, macron is not pointing to the obvious one of the obvious reasons why these riots occurred. And uh, I can't say more than that because I'm on YouTube. But uh, look, for instance, in the, I don't know, 1930s France or 1940s France or earlier. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe not earlier because then you, you say, yeah, wait a minute. Are you talking about the French Revolution and after that with Robert Spierre and all those uh, killings and guillotines and uh drowning people in water and so on uh well we know that that one but that's a human <clears throat> but here we have a little problem this president comes over and he redirects things on one aspect and the other one was um let me go here france riots french ri france riots president macron blames video games for unrest Calls on parents to help, says reporter. Yeah, the, but the parents also played video games. And it's not only, you know, children here. Right? Uh, the parents also play video games. This is not... He just frames it with video games. That's not all of it. 
It's not all, it's the politics as well. French President Emmanuel Macron on Friday urged parents to keep kids, kid rioters off the streets. Uh, I watch those videos and they're not kids. There are some kids, but mainly they're not kids. They look to me over 18, um, uh, most of them. So uh, another, another diversion here, adding that some young people looked to be emulating violent video games that had intoxicated them. Uh, nothing to do with your policies, correct? Correct. Correct. Uh, it is the responsibility of parents to keep them at home. It's not the state's job to act in their, uh, in their place, Emmanuel Macron stated. Um, he doesn't want to solve the problem because the, the, in order to solve a problem, you have to identify the symptoms and then uh, the reasons why, you know, and then that means you have to be objective and you can't discriminate on the evidence you, you, uh, you are presented and you empirically find. So uh, they are not going to do that. Because they can't say, well, this is because of this policy, therefore we up and we lie to you. And I think the politicians, mass media, other interests behind all these guys lie to the French people. That's what happened. I can't say more than that, but I guess you uh, figure things out on your own uh, with time. Just, just do this. I urge you to watch videos and look at the rioters' faces. All right? That's all I can tell you. Just look at the writers' faces or whatever they have. Look at them and you're going to see the French people, you know, being in a certain way. That's all. I don't ask you to, to go deeper than that. And you're going to find out a striking uh, uh, pattern, maybe a general, uh, you know, pattern over there. Uh, but nevertheless, my friends, um, I'm, I'm trying to find the right euphemisms here. So my message can uh, transpire to you uh, through YouTube medium. Otherwise, um, uh, if I say certain things, you would not hear what I, what I would like to communicate to you and point out. Uh, certain things, when you get involved in, um, you create problems. Uh, or when you accept certain things, you create problems that you didn't have. Like, for instance, if I go to a bar at, let's say, 11 p.m., uh, most likely uh, I expose myself to some danger, don't you think? The same, uh, you know, if I just go outside, I'm just giving an example. If I just go outside and I see two people fighting over there or whatever they're doing and I invite them uh, for dinner, I probably have some, uh, some, you know, not a good idea, I'm just saying. Unless you can control this. Uh, so again, it depends on uh, what you expose yourself to uh, willingly and how you protect your own uh, uh, entity. You see, I have to look deep, uh, dig deep in order to find uh, euphemisms and, and, you know, all kind of weasels way of telling you this. No, Macron, that's not the main issue, not the video games. And he knows it and knows, but he can't say it because the orders are coming from far away. Uh, Brussels. <laughs> not that far, but anyway. And not only Brussels, it's not even Brussels. Brussels is just the head office. It's the hub where the orders are coming to. And from there, they're distributed to the Europeans. That's how it works. Those guys over there in charge, uh, supposedly, in Brussels, they are just managers. Managers of orders followers, the ones that, not enforcers, they just are the managers, these are the orders, pop, 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 we distribute them to these guys and they will do what they do best. And they know it, all of them know it. Scholz know it, knows it, Sunak knows it, uh, Macron knows it, all the leaders know it, you know why they, they know it? Because when the orders are issued or the information, the um, agenda is issued, they have questions. The first time when they get in the office or even before, they say, what do you mean? Well, you want to figure out what they mean and who's who, what's what. And sometimes you try to hit back or say, no, 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 no. And then you find out how things are done, how things really work, the dynamics. And you, say, you, you have two options. One, to end up like, I don't know, I can't give you names, or to uh, be like a weasel. And you're going to be a weasel because after all, you're a politician. So you go over there using certain kind of uh, attributes. And uh, you don't tell me you're going to grow a balls and a spine right there when you're the president or prime minister of a country. No, you're not. You're not. 
And look at M Meloni, La Giorgia Meloni, uh, Meloni uh, from uh, Italy, the Prime Minister. How tough she was uh, before she, she's got in the office as a Prime Minister. Where is she now? Where is she now? Why is that? I remember the Czech president, the current Czech president, former general in NATO. I had <laughs> very much reservations when I heard, oh, he's an ex-general in NATO and so on. Okay, when he got in the office, no, before he got in the office, he was elected and it was that period of time before it was, you know, switched that he got in the office. He says something about Ukraine needing to, after all, uh, negotiate with the Russians uh, at one point. I said, oh, look at this guy. He didn't get the memo at that point yet. When he got in the office, he never said that again. He was just, oh, oh uh, we got to help. And he, he overdid everything. He overdid or overdone everything that he said before. Why? To cover that little mistake that he did before he got in the office and he got the memo. To figure out how things are really done, which I don't think he didn't know by that time. He was in NATO, so he knew who's who and who's who's who who's over there and who the rest of us are here so macron is just a weasel and uh, he just tried to direct divert the real reason if you have a problem you have to look at the, the, the whatever creates that problem and you have to accept each and every evidence fact symptom whatever to uh, analyze it and and based on all that information come with a conclusion with a solution at the end to solve the problem that what this guy is doing He's picking this, ignoring bigger ones. That means he doesn't want to solve the problem. Why would he? He's part of them, not us. So yes, uh, French uh, nation. Um, we know, we know why that happened. We know, we know why that happened. Or uh, it's and it's not the video games. And video games, uh, it's it's something else. All right. Thank you very much. Just watch again. Just watch the, the footage. Just look. Just, just empirically observe all that, right? Thank you very much for uh, using empiricism. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See if this is going to go through.